Am I allowed to show me taking drugs on YouTube? Are, are the YouTube gods gonna shoot me or something? <laughs> and welcome to another video hosted by your favorite person, the blind Canadian cat, or you can call me Catherine. Uh, and this video is a long time coming at this point, friends. It's a long time coming. And again, sorry for 30 frames per second audio quality or whatever the hell this is. It's because, let's be real, this camera is nothing like my old camera. So it's either... I use that and the audio quality is down, but the frame rate's a little better. Or I hook it up as a uh, face cam for my computer so I can use my microphone so the audio quality is better. But the video quality, the frames are smaller. So I think at one of these points, I'm probably going to just have to buy a new camera in general. I, I am undecided yet, but this is just going to have to be how it is for now. But that discussion can be held for another day. So, for those of you who are new to this channel, again, let me introduce myself. My name is Catherine Parker. I'm a transgender woman. I'm from Oregon. I moved to Kansas last year. Uh, mostly to uh, start a new life, more or less, but also start a life in a place where I'm comfortable, where I'm supported, where I'm loved. And shout out to my roommate, who we call, we call Arctic. Um, even though we've been living in this tenuous space of a, of a studio together for the last eight months, He's been very supportive and very helpful to me, so I can't thank him enough. But I moved here to hopefully get started on the next steps of my transition. And if you've been keeping up with my Twitter, you will notice that on April 20th, um, I have finally been prescribed the spirolactonite, or I don't know how to, how to pronounce that. They call it Spiro on the internet. And basically what that does, it takes your, uh, or at least in the... In the world of trans people it takes your testosterone levels down so in the way in the way my doctor talked to me about it it basically was if you try to take estrogen now it's going to uh basically do nothing because your t levels are so damn high that it's that it's like trying to drop i don't know like some juice in the ocean you're not gonna see the juice you're not because there's too much ocean too much filtering so I've been now two weeks on that, and what you just saw me do five seconds ago uh, was my first estrogen pill. Now again, I ask YouTube, are you going to send the FBI after me because I took a pill on YouTube? Well, shit. <laughs> uh, but why am I making this video? Why, why, why do I feel the need to tell you guys? I mean, I can tell you on Twitter all I want, but why do I gotta make a video for it? Well, first things first, I want to give a shout out to uh, to two individuals who will probably never see this video ever, but I want to give a shout out to two individuals. The first one being a YouTube user by the name of Claire Michelle. Now, when I was first coming out, um, admittedly, I was in a, like, a YouTube search. I wanted to see someone else's story. I wanted to see what they were going through. And Claire just happened to be the first person I'd find. Uh, she lived in the Midwest or somewhere in there like that and then moved to Seattle so she could begin her transition. Uh, admittedly, I'm not watching every video, so I don't know the, the full story, but I was able to see it because she did, like, year timelines. So, like, one year, two year, three year, and in her video, she also explained, like, all the changes physically and mentally that she went through. And I found that interesting, and it was one of those, like, comforting things for me, I guess. It, it, it helped me easily understand, okay, hey, when I get to this point, this is what to expect, more or less. And uh, granted, it would be what a year and like a year and a half between then and now, but I don't know. It was informative, and you know, it, it was nice to hear a voice like, "Hey, let me let you know how things are gonna be. Let me know. Here, here are helpful tips and ways to better yourself in these situations." So I don't. I thought that was very informative and helpful, and I appreciated it. So thank you, to Claire. And the other person I want to talk about is Alice Luna, or sometimes she goes by Twitch as Boko. Um, Alice doesn't have as many videos and doesn't really have an actual trans timeline, but what she does for some of her videos, um, she kind of has like a, 
she kind of had story and tell, little how-to guides. Um, she talked about her story about how, um, uh, par- uh, what is it, parental, parenthood or something, or, or, par- I don't know what it's called, but how with those, they were just kind of cool with helping you transition anyway. You didn't need to do uh, therapy and referral notes and shit like that. I already started therapy because I figured that was to be the easiest way. I didn't know that there were places that just like, you know what, we trust you enough. You, you're an adult, you got it. Go for it. Or we'll help you, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know that at first. But, uh... So yeah, she had like, something like that, which... First of all, I, I got a little pet peeve. Or I'm gonna rant for a second here. For the place I found, the website says, hey, the first uh, meeting or whatever, that's 150 So I'm like, you know what? Sure, 150 I got Super Bowl winnings I've been sitting on since February. I... I I, I gotta spend it somewhere, so might as well spend it on helping me transition. What they didn't tell me on the website was, hey, we're gonna do labs as well, which is gonna be another 150 So that was 300 for me. I don't have insurance since moving to Kansas. So... That was a punch. I mean, again, like, like, my Super Bowl winnings pretty much paid for it, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. But y'all know me. I don't like spending large amounts of money in a, in a, in a row. So it, it, it kind of it hit me. But yeah, that was a 300 trip, and then picking up the medication from the pharmacy was like another 35 bucks for that one. And then I did another uh, 50 today, but that's because they also prescribed me some vitamin D, because I guess my vitamin's D low. But, uh, but yeah, so, and then she all, and then Alice also, uh, kind of did a breakdown too as well. Or, the way she did it was kind of funny. Um, she used, like, a, like, a tier list to describe all the effects from being on, uh, hormone replacement therapy. It was, it was funny to me. So, like, it's, hey, these are all the things that'll happen, so I'm learning, and, admittedly, I'm excited, and I also get to see how certain people feel about them. Certain things like, uh, breast growth, uh... Yeah, genital shrinkage, body shrinkage, body fat redis- redistribution, sex drive, yada yada, all that stuff. So it was nice to see, like, again, another person talking about something as a general topic, but then also talking about it as a, uh, as a, what their personal preference is. So it was nice to see both. It was nice to, to comprehend, see how everyone's different. So between Alice and, uh, Claire, Seeing those two perspectives um, uh, helped me, or at least made me uh, feel more informed and confident and stuff like that. So that is kind of why I want to make this video. My hopes is that there is some some young trans woman out there who is now just recently cracking, who who is now confused and was looking for answers. So they're gonna scroll through YouTube at two in the morning. And, I ho- and I'm hoping this video finds them. I'm hoping this, and future, I'm going to do a couple more future videos. I don't know the time intervals I'm going to do for each of them. But I'm hoping to do more of these, just to give you guys a rundown. And just kind of like a, a, a time la- a lapse, or whatever the word is, for how my progression is going. I mean, I'll be on Twitter. You'll see me talking on Twitter. I'll probably post like daily updates on there or something like that. Just to keep you guys informed. But I do plan on doing these videos every so often, so that way you guys can get an idea of what I'm going through and what you can expect. Now, I will say this, um, because of those labs, um, I get my labs back, and I guess, um, testosterone levels themselves for, like, the average cis male, yada yada, I guess, are somewhere between, it was what? I think it said 264 and 916 units. I don't know what the unit was because I can't read. But it was 264 to 916. I'm at 263 base. Like, I went into that appointment, which my first appointment, at 263. Meaning my levels were already way low to begin with. So now after two weeks of the spirolactane, that shit should be clear by now that the E, now that I'm starting estrogen, should take over. That shit should start taking over real quickly. 
because there was not much for the spell acting to to get rid of. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so yeah, that that's pretty much the goal of this of, for me for this video to y'all. My my longtime viewers who have been watching me, whether it's been the last year or two or it's been longer than that, um, I'll keep y'all posted on my journey, my update, yada yada. If you're curious, if you're not, don't worry about it. I'm just being me. And to the to the young young trans women who are just now discovering their themselves, let let me help you try to be a voice. Let me try to help you understand what you're about to go through, what it's gonna take, what what steps you have to go through. Uh, and hopefully you can find some comfort in this. I will say, unlike Alice and unlike Claire, I will say everything uncensored. I'm, I'm not going to use nicknames or metaphors. No, I will talk about my dick. I will let y'all know what goes on with estrogen. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I am not going to bypass anything. I will keep it 100. I'm not going to strip for you guys. God, no, because YouTube will definitely shoot me then. But I'm going to give you a 100% real and authentic, hey, this is what's going to happen. Or at least, this is what happened to me. Have fun. Good luck. But... In all seriousness, I hope, I hope, my goal is that this reaches one person. My goal is that one person finds this video, maybe now, not probably, but like even five years from now. One, one broken egg finds this video and then looks up uh, my uh, steps, my journey. And she sees this and she has this, the same impact from me as I did with both. Claire and Alice. That is, that is my goal for this. So with that, that is going to be all from me. My name is Catherine Parker. I am on the Blind Canadian Cat YouTube channel. I say meow and I roll intros like that in the past. And let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Whew. I, I got chills. I'm immediately not going to like it. Like, you never think about these. Or like, I never really thought too much onto this process. But now that I'm actually at this step, it's, it's, there's no words for it. There really is no words. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace, love, and trust.